Hey, what's up? Good morning, everybody. It's going to be a great day. We're going to be heading uh, up north. We're going to do a little bit of pond fishing. We're going to do a little bit of a challenge, though. I brought nothing but subscriber baits, like baits that you guys have sent in. That's the only thing I'm going to be using today. Uh, I'm supposed to be fishing with John. He texted me and he said, uh, you know what, dude? Let's just do something else because the weather's not very good for tomorrow. And I don't think it's going to be very good because this is, this is what it looks like. That is the end of the yep, see that right there? Oh god. It's not bad right now, see? And then it's just like boom. Yep. So anyway, that is what we have to deal with this morning. It's gonna it's supposed to be thunderstorms, rain, everything that's coming through. I'm not gonna sit inside and, and see if it's gonna happen. Last time I waited, it didn't it didn't it didn't affect the the conditions too bad. It was I don't know. Texas weather is very temperamental this time of year, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll the dice and say you know what? It doesn't really. It's it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna head up there. We're gonna see if John even wants to get up. I gotta, I gotta see if you. I, I've already called him. He's not answering his phone. But I'm gonna go to the house. See if I can get him up and see if he can. If he wants to come. I can't turn off these lights. There we go. Oh, let there be light. There we go. See, that's what those things are for. Oh, what's up, Ella? Up there. Oh man, we made it out here in time. Ah, I've had some coffee. I feel a lot better than I did about an hour and a half ago when I talked to you guys. Uh, we got this. Uh, this is the box that we brought. That box right there. Thank God. I was thinking about it. Hopefully the, the top didn't blow off, and it didn't. So these. Our baits that you guys have sent over the last however long I have been on YouTube or doing unboxings or whatever. But so this is the this is the worm that that guy up in Washington State. Sorry, I don't remember your name, but you met us at the ramp and you just gave me this giant absurdly big worm. Well, you asked me if I would do it in a video, I'd ever use it, and I said, yeah, I'll use it in the next video I do. And I promise you, I'm going to throw this today. No idea if I'm going to catch anything on it. I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm hoping there's a top water in here. I'm gonna sift through all this. There is so many different types of baits in here. There's normal kind of baits. There's kind of crazy baits. There's stuff that I would never think about buying. Like, there's probably something in here. Uh, you guys get the hint. There's, there's stuff in here that I'd be like, wow, where'd you guys get that from? But a lot of hand porn stuff. Oh, here we go. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can get on them. It's gonna be fun. We, we, we have like a very, very limited amount of time this you know what let's check let's actually check and see when the storms are rolling through they're supposed to be coming through in like the next two hours like really bad I can find my phone. okay the rain's gonna be here in like 30 minutes whatever not really too worried about rain the, the stuff that i'm worried about that's coming in around 11 o'clock so we're gonna be out of here no matter what we have to be out of here by 11 because there's like instead of being like you know it's usually like orange and red for rain or whatever there was like purple thought that was snow don't know what the hell that means I don't know, but let's knock this out. Let's see if we we'll see if we can do another good subscriber bait challenge. Just trying to break the ice here. This is that's all we want to do is just break this ice, and then we'll get into like a crazy, crazy bait or something. It's just top water. I mean, this is top water hour. You guys cannot miss out on the top water hour. You know what I mean? I don't even know if that's what I want to call it, but I just made that up. Top, yeah, the top water hour. That's what this is gonna be. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to go an entire hour just throwing top waters. Okay, they don't want this. They do not want this right now. Let's change over. Yep, good wind. Got him. First fish. What the heck? First fish is a freaking crappie? Well, I, get, I mean, I don't really... That's a tasty size right there. That's a good eating size. Well, first fish of the day, guys, is a crappie, which I'm going to throw back in this pond. I don't really have a need to keep these things. I caught it on the, uh, what is this? I don't know. Why don't you know what color this is? It just says Mismo and it's really red. That's the bait I caught it on. Let's switch over to, uh, no, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's switch over to this hand poured black and blue stick bait deal. I have a little bit of confidence in this stick bait. I picked it out because I liked it. Whoever hand poured this thing, I appreciate you sending it to me. These fish are now starting to bust. Look, there's a busting over there. 
I'm almost tempted to go back and grab that, that dang whopper plopper. <laughs> I think I'm going to. I don't know where the hell the wind went. The wind just like disappeared. It was supposed to be blowing 15 all day. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Hut, hut. They really, really, really do not want top water. Oh man! Oh, right there! Yes! Yes! <laughs> right at the bank, and he inhaled it. There we go. Yes! Right at the bank. Somebody sent me this custom painted little square bill. And look, he choked it. Thank you, whoever sent me that. Look at that. Absolutely inhaled that thing. This is a very, very, very slow day of fishing. God, did he want that? That is crazy. I might throw this a little bit longer. I just picked this up. They're not wanting soft plastics at all. I can't get them to hit it. There we go. Ah, thank you. This thing hit it so close to the bank. There he goes. Cool. This is a, this is a freaking cool looking bait. Look at that thing. All right. Not all hope is lost. We still got got about an hour left until the storm comes. Storm comes in. Maybe maybe we can get some more much. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't think that's coming off. I think this calls for drastic measures. I don't think that's coming off. All right, you know what? It's time for some drastic measures. Whatever, I'm not losing this bait. Oh, my feet are soaked. I'm not losing this bait though. This bait is too good. And you guys send it to me, so I'm not losing this thing. I am so wet right now. Don't matter. My boots are filled up with water. Yep, doesn't matter. It's coming, got it. So, I know for a fact I'm not the only person in the world. You know what? One second. Well, so my main question to you guys is what lure have you guys ever jumped into the water to get? Uh, that's not the first time I did it. The reason why I did it is because it was a beautifully painted, like hand painted custom bait that you guys had sent me. Somebody had sent me. I can't read the, the name on the bottom of it. I'm sorry. But uh, that's why I went in and got it. I wasn't going to let it sit inside this crappy pond that I'll probably never come back to. But... Anyway, or it could have just been a bad day. We had a lot of rain last couple weeks. I don't know. I don't want to make any excuses. I did horrible today. But this video is not going to end. You know why? Because tonight we are traveling down to way south Texas to go hang out with Demolition Ranch. We're going to go shoot long guns tomorrow. And then the next day we're going to be bass fishing. I'm going to take a bass fishing. A lot of people have asked me for me to do it, so we're going to do it. You know what? I don't even... I bet you know I'm... Well, I gotta go to Bass Pro Shop. I just thought about that and all everything I have is wet. Yes. All right, pit stop. I got a pair of crusty shoes. Thanks to John B, he just came into real clutch. I stopped by over here. I'm gonna go eat lunch with him real quick, but I, I don't know what kind of crusty shoes he brought me. I said, bring me some sandals or some shoes because I have absolutely nothing to go inside this restaurant or to get ammo with. Cause monitor destroyed, as you guys already know. Oh, did he hit something? Oh no. Oh, ouch. So if there's one thing I hate buying, it's stuff like this, like tires. I have I hate this. Like look at these. Look how bad that one is. This one is not making it down there. This is this is gonna explode probably on the way to get changed. But I'm, I'm an idiot. See this right here? Yeah. Chained up, right? So I bought this trailer for my mom and she doesn't live in Texas anymore. I never got the key to the spare. So I basically just have a spare that is chained to this to this trailer that's never gonna come off. 
Yeah, sometimes I'm not the smartest person in the world, so I decided to throw that one out there as well. Oh, we're good. So I normally would do this inside of my room, but my daughter is sleeping right now. My, uh, my trailer's done, by the way, which is good. That's another $500 that I want to spend. But this book right here, this is going to be like my lifeline tomorrow. It's got some stuff in here I completely like, you know, like you, you kind of lose, well, I, don't, I don't know what the word is. It, when you don't, when you lose how, what is it, what is it? Uh, when you kind of forget how to do something over time, I kind of forget what that's called. There's a word for it. I don't know why. I'm sure you guys are going to correct me, but I can't remember right now. But I kind of lost like a little bit of knowledge when it comes to like the exact equation for like ranging in meters, yards, like wind and everything like this. So this is like the best dope book in the world. Dope. Um, a lot of you guys who shoot probably know what dope is. Um, data of previous engagement. So that's the crazy thing about shooting long distances. It's nothing but just a math equation. That's all it really is. Once you know the size of a target and you're able to mill it out, you, it's literally just an equation from there and it can tell you like, it, I don't know, it's, it's really cool. If you, if you think about it, like shooting is nothing more than math and a little bit of good trigger squeeze and a good spotter and good ammo. And a, yeah, I don't know, anyway, it's a lot more, I guess. But anyway, it's math, it's math, it's math, it's math. But we got the babies out. We got them out. She's ready. The 300 is going to be going to be put to use. We're going to bring this just to kind of play around. I am having an issue with this tire right here. Like, look at this. This thing was like, I don't know if it's like got a rock in the rim or if it's dented somewhere, but it just keeps going flat. So I'm going to take it up to the dudes where the, who just did my uh, my good old fashioned trailer, which is not there, but my trailer, and see if they can figure it out. And I cannot wait to get a can for this thing. Oh, it's going to be so clean when it gets a can. I hate wearing it pro. Yeah. So we're making our first stop on this road trip down. Last time I talked to you guys, I think it was at the house. We had to make a... Oh, my God. Thank God that pole wasn't too much closer. We had to make a pit stop at one of Alex Perrick's worst, like, his worst enemy. You guys, If you guys have been on this channel for a while, you guys know what I'm about to show you. The gas hose. We got to load it up. We're good to go. But, uh, get back in here. I think we got about four hours left, which feels like I haven't put a dent in in anything. But when I get down there, I don't know how many times I'm gonna stop on the way down there, but I'm gonna do on the road updates all the way down there. And then when I get down there, I wanna show you guys something because he has something in that room that I don't think anybody else in the world really has, I think. I'm pretty positive. Now, I mean, the guy that gave it to him probably has another one, but it's pretty, it's pretty freaking awesome. And these cookies right here, I'm telling you right now, they're healthy cookies. I know that you can't really say that very often, but Snickerdoodle, if you guys want to do me a huge favor, you guys can send about 16 pounds of these to the house. I will eat every single one of them. Probably get about 400 pounds, but I will love every freaking fatness I gain. So these are the kind of rides, you know, you're just, you're just cruising. You're like in your thoughts. You got just hours to go. We got three hours now. I might do an every hour update on, on what I've been thinking about. The last hour, nothing. Not a drinking my coffee, trying to stay awake. Um, I, 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 you know, actually, you know what? You know what's been coming to my head? How the hell is there this much wind? It's just nonstop. It's got to be blowing 30 plus. Easy. Maybe 40. Maybe 70. Hurricane Hiko is now hitting Texas as of right now. And it's, I, it, I, 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 I drive through like certain areas and it's just like dust and blow and just cry or I can't I can't even speak I mean look at the trees yeah, look at them. they look like trees blown in the wind but it's like literally it's like blowing my truck like off the road not off the not not I'm whatever I'll, I'll check back with you guys in another hour update number two on this uh, glorious day it is now 703 we have hundred and six miles left to go now, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't think I ever told you guys how I even got a hold of Matt from Demolition Ranch or how it even came to be. I met him when I had 60 or 70,000 subs, something or somewhere around there. And I remember I, I said in a video one time, I said, uh, hey, I'm going to put a link to a video. I want you guys to say, go do a video with this Long Cruise TV guy, whatever. So I, it, it's not really how I got a hold of him. It was actually you guys by spamming his comment section but apparently there were some people that were that were calling his veterinary office and pretending to be me so I never did that which is I don't know, 
But anyway, it came to be, I ended up meeting him. I came down and talked to him. And he never mentioned this the first time. I left and came back probably about two or three weeks later. We shot some videos together. And when I came back, he's like, well, you know, the first time I met you, I didn't want to tell you this, but I thought it was kind of weird that you, you were calling my veterinary office. I was like, whoa, hold on a sec. I never called you a vet office, I promise. That's a little weird. So the entire time that he had uh, my side-by-side -side in the three or four weeks that I knew him before that, he thought that I was the one that was calling his veterinary office trying to get a hold of him because people were leaving messages under my name. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward for about uh, 13 seconds there, but uh, we had to clear the air on that that it wasn't me that was calling. That song was absolutely ruined, completely ruined because of Outlaw, like 100% ruined. Cause all I can think of is sag and herbie. Just think of old fat fat boy, just like sweaty and. Ugh. We are 30 minutes out, and I have literally I, look at this guy. I don't know if you guys will be able to see with this camera because it doesn't have a crazy lens on it. But look at this. I mean, we are out here. Just I love it out here. It's pretty. It's nice. But I, I've been listening. I have my phone plugged in. You can just listen. I've just been playing uh, like YouTube videos through my phone, just listening to them. And I've been listening to just nothing but like long range shooting and scope stuff and gun stuff and, and like ballistic stuff. And I, I feel so refreshed. I feel like uh, I've just been rejuvenated of all my knowledge that I've had. Now, not all of it, you know, I, I'm pretty sure. Like, I feel like it's like one of those kind of things where you lose as uh, you never use it. I don't, I don't really, I, like I, I said, think I said this in the garage. It's one of those things like a special tool or I don't know like like I'm I don't know I, I never really I didn't go to college or anything so I'm sitting here trying to think of the word uh, where you study a lot and you kind of forget the stuff you like mem dump it memory dump it I feel like it's what this was dumped my memory was just dumped with all that stuff but the next time I'll talk to you guys will probably be at Demos house because I have to show you guys that thing that's up on the wall which probably, probably a bunch of you guys have already seen but um, yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit and be really dramatic with it like make your arms come over, like really get the tattoo in there and, then, <laughs> and go far around, yeah. Ready? <laughs> that was good, we got it. <laughs> I tried really hard. Hey, well, you guys clearly know where I'm at now. This is where we're gonna kind of uh, end it. I just wanna show you guys this right here. I was just thinking about it. This thing's been signed by pretty much every like Roman Atwood and a bunch of other guys. I was number two to sign it. Number two. Now there's a uh, lit up smile more sign that Mr. Atwood gave to uh, old Demo Ranch. And then here's the, uh, the infamous black cock that I don't know if a lot of you guys know about or not. But tomorrow, me and me and Demo will be shooting long range. He's never really gotten into the long range shooting. It's gonna be new to him, and he's got a scope downstairs that I'm looking at, and is an MRADS. I know this much about MRAD, so I'm about to go downstairs and learn about it, and then we'll be back at it again tomorrow. Sorry, the fishing was, but we're doing it again on Friday. We're gonna be fishing on Friday, and we're gonna be shooting us tomorrow.